So, hey Saints, it's Sister with the Testimony, and I um, got a word yesterday while I was in prayer, and I've uh, been thinking about it and praying about it, didn't want to just release it until I knew I was supposed to, and um, I'm supposed to! So anyhow, Saints with a Testimony, or if you're in uh, camo today, you're a soldier with a testimony, at any rate, uh, you're in God's army, so get up and be about your father's business! Uh, the Lord did say, be determined to shine for me. Point everyone to me, says the Lord. Uh, so I got this word, and I'm like, okay, Lord, here we go. Let's just do this. I bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Leslie, they are looking for a word of comfort Many that are comfortable are comfortable because any means shall justify the end. Many will, just as Esau did, sell their birthright and even their children's for a belly full of meat, for their bellies only exist to be filled with my wrath. These same comfortable Christians give me sweet, syrupy lip service dripping from lips that curse others and speak hidden agendas behind closed doors. Tell my chosen ones, your Father in Heaven has warned many times throughout scriptures, many times he has said, come out from among them. You defy his commandments, and you think you're forgiven. You think that you're forgiven this and many other deliberate defiances of his word. Disobedience causes delay and denial of benefits that are due to comfortable Christians. Disobeying written instructions. The word of the Lord has proven the spoken words that you have heard in your spirit times and times again. However, my children are stiff-necked, Leslie, and they have put silencers in their spiritual ears. Once, twice, three times upon their beds, I have spoken to them, and they stubbornly refuse to comply. Insubordinate soldiers are eventually court-martialed. Do not remain in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief, chosen one. Come and repent of your disobedience and watch the delays detonate and explode from off your life. I have searched you and I have known you. Psalm 139, 1 through 24 was very befitting for this. And if you will take a, the time, saints, to read Psalm 139, you'll understand. Again, the Lord said, I have searched you, I have known you. The Lord said, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you to my side. Come out from your comfort zones and be afflicted in the fiery furnace that I might purify your thoughts, words, and deeds. I have instructed you in the night season. Come to me and take my yoke. It is easy and the burden is light. You are carrying heavy weights of false burdens, my chosen ones. Put down your burden and take up my yoke. For it was said over and over in my word, and by my word, Yahshua Hamashiach, go and sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. 
I have not sent many that call themselves anointed prophets of God. They are, however, anointed prophets of their own God. They repeat the same prophecies over and over to each person that stands in their presence as if their personal presence matters the most. They are self-serving, self-absorbed, and self-promoting. They are bold and boisterous of their own exploits, and they thrive on attention and controlling my spirit at will, it seems. I have not sent them with auto-prophetics and wizardly and lying signs and wonders. Just as Moses overcame the sorcery in Egypt, my true prophets proclaim, let my people go. Their slave mentality toward organized religious groups of deceived believers presenting religious activity in my name has institutionalized many that were marked for greatness. My worship is pure in spirit and in truth. My wor worship is... Ooh, help me, Lord. My worship is not contaminated with props, lighting, noise, atmosphere, and physical stimulators that lead unsuspecting, unknowledgeable, undiscerning, shepherdless sheep to a fiery pit of destruction, all the while calling this a worship experience. This is seeker-friendly, anointed with contaminated oil and strange fire. I will not receive your will worship, says the Lord. Woo! Mm. Your efforts reflect your heart's condition. My acceptable worship is that you offer yourself as a living sacrifice and you die to self as you live only to and for me, says the Lord. Come to me, all who are heavy burdened, and I alone will give you rest. Are you a pastor? Are you a servant? Are you a soldier? Are you a survivor? Are you a saint? Are you a sister? Are you a sinner? You're no longer a satisfier of flesh, my child. You're no longer a slave to acceptance. No longer a sinner, for the sin consciousness is eradicated by the blood of the Lamb, Yahshua Hamashiach. Wholly capable of delivering the soul, the blood of Jesus speaks. I pray that you're blood-bought and born-again saints and that you do not get drawn in to the will worship of many organized religious services today. The Lord says that we will worship Him in spirit and in truth, and I pray that your worship is in spirit and in truth. Saints, there's nothing wrong with worshiping the Lord with complete abandonment. If you want to raise your hands, if you want to dance, if you want to clap, if you want to shout, if you're doing it in the Spirit, and it truly is the Spirit, it will be evident that you are worshiping one the Creator, Yahuwah, God the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one true God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come unto Yahuwah except through Yahshua Hamashiach. And saints, the Holy Spirit will always always emphatically 100% of the time glorify Yahshua Hamashiach if they are glorifying Holy Spirit 
your grieving Holy Spirit. We're to glorify Yeshua Hamashiach and point people to Him. You can't get out of it. You can't get away from it. When I, I, I hadn't even read this. You know, I stumbled through it because I haven't read it. I didn't go back over it. I wrote it down and I read the scriptures and I'm like, okay, Lord, just writing it and reading the scriptures. It's your word, Lord. It's not mine. I'm just a messenger. I'm just the pizza delivery personnel. So, Lord, let it fall on ears that will hear. Let it be planted in hearts that are open to receiving the truth. And, Father God, I just praise you and thank you that you would allow me to be someone with a testimony about how great you are, about how awesome you are, about how amazing you alone are. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Saints, I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Let all heaven and earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms, they all pass away. But there's just something about your name. Master, Savior, Yeshua, like the fragrance after the rain. Mm. We got some rain today, and there's no better fragrance than Yeshua Hamashiach. Go with the Lord. Let him establish your thoughts and he'll take care of the rest, saints. Just be at peace with the Lord and obey him. If you need to repent, repent! That's the cool thing about it. First John 1 John 1.9 if we confess our sins, he's just and faithful to forgive us and cleanse us for all unright from all of our unrighteousness. That's for saints. Yeah. God bless you. I love you. It's sister with a testimony. Love y'all. Later.